in the name of Jesus Christ. Let everyone return here blessed. Transform. In Jesus mighty name. Your state of dominion is determined by the calls you make. You are where you are and you are reflecting what heaven has for because of your own calls you have been making. Walking in the light of the world and dominating is simply the course you make. Sit down. For every provision of redemption to answer in your life, you must make a call. <laughs> you call for the provisions of redemption. Count yourself blessed that you are here tonight. Now, each time service begins, I pay attention to every aspect of the service. Because it's the Lord. Beginning from the opening prayers, God begins to speak. Praise and worship. Every aspect, sir. I don't look at the person standing. I just see the voice behind that person. And then I'm just catching light. The provision of redemption that Jesus paid for will only respond to your call. This service tonight will make a difference because things will be coming your way. Amen. Hear this. Things will begin to come your way uncontrollably. The cause you make. I want you to just touch your seatbelt for a word ride tonight. I stay in my room. I don't move around. Just making calls. Those that be planted, you know, moving around. Those that be planted in the house of Lord shall flourish in the course of our God. Making calls. Acts chapter 16, verse 25. And at midnight. Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were open, and everyone's bands were loose. Tonight, everyone's bands shall be loosed. And the keeper of the prison awaking out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, drew out his sword and would have killed himself supposing that the prison had been fled. And then Paul cried with a loud voice saying, do thyself no harm for we are all here. Verse 29. Then he called for a light. <laughs> Nekuma Slibus, you don't know what to call for. Call for a light. That is what I have been calling for. That I 
don't need to call any other call. Call for a light. Then he called for a light. Concerning every matter, call for a light. Didn't he say it in Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3? Call unto me, and I will show you that's light. Light is saying, call unto me. You want your marital destiny to be open? Call for a light. You want a change of levels? Call, sir. I have been making one call all my life. And I've been receiving favorable response. I don't know how to call human beings. I call for a light. You have called everybody except light. That's why you are here. So if we just finish this one, it's even enough for us to go home. Let's share amen and go. And see how things will begin to respond to you. Then he called for a light. That has been my staying power. Somebody called me some time ago and said, oh, you, You've not been calling. I don't need to. That testimony is just a platform for me to say, call, call. You don't need to call any person, sir, when you are calling for a light. When I say, count yourself blessed that you are here tonight. God himself, when he was face to face with darkness, he called for a light. Genesis. <laughs> I don't waste my spiritual recharge car calling other calls. <laughs> Just one call, light. For a life to have a fruitful home. I call for a life to have a strong body. This is a place where you are world made. And when you are world made, you are really made. What is it that you want? Call for a light. You've been ignored for long in your wherever. Call for a light. And they will send for you like they sent for, for Joseph. Joseph was a lighted being, sir. That's right. They testify. They say, for as much as God has shown this, I mean, he has been calling for a light. Yes, sir. My heart is in that in a good matter. I don't have many calls to make, sir. Only one call. That everything answers to it and responds. Instantly. Then he called for a light and sprang in. Can you see? Because the effect of light is speed. The effect of light is speed, sir. Yes, sir. Then he called for a light and sprang in. After this service, things will be springing yes, sir. in. Yes, sir. <laughs> Waka will be experiencing springing of multitude. How? By calling for light. There is no scarcity anywhere. Just scarcity of you calling for light. Springing. It terminates any economic hardship. Sir, good things will begin to spring in. I 
can hear your amen. I can hear your amen. You are so good, amen. Then he called for a light and sprang in. That's the effect of light, speed. Spring. That was how my head sprung up. Sir, everything concerning me is springing up. There is a springing up in my life by light. I was just dancing on that verse of scripture. Then he called for a light. When I saw myself some few years back at the crossroad, I called for a light. And I said, how, how? Call. Unimaginable things will begin to spring into your life. Yeah. Into your business, yeah. in your career, yeah. you explain is bringing in. Yeah. <laughs> this week, when you come for Sunday service, you will be overwhelmed with the springing in of blessings, yeah. springing in of open doors, yeah. springing in, sir. Those things that you have been pursuing all these years, they will begin to spring in. Amen. <sighs> All by just calling for light. Manasseh. In my one room there, I just call for light. Light. I don't make any other calls. You know what he said in Psalm 43 verse 3. Oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me. Your calls are wrong calls. That's <laughs> that is the only thing that will bring you. Oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to thy holy hill and to thy tabernacle. Then will I. Be in the altar of God. Unto God, my exceeding joy, and upon the harp will I praise you, O God, my God. Why are thou cast down, O my soul? Because oh, you are not calling it light. Spring in. Spring simply means uncontrollable flow. Spring. You know. You, you can't control it. You know, bubbling on its own. Fresh. What is that light? Psalm 119 verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my friend. And a light. So it's God's word he's talking about. Call for the word. <laughs> calling for light is calling for the word. <laughs> This is a lightest joint because there's abundance of the world here. You must arrive at where you are going, sir. Oh, let them lead me. Let them bring me light and truth, sir. I am too sure of arriving at my destination, sir, by what is leading me. Can't miss it. Look for light, call for light and light carriers. Those who have encountered what you are looking for. They are what? Light carriers. Look for them. Call for them. And then you are on. The word of God is that light. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is set in heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth and it abided. All are thy servant. Unless the Lord be my dear, I shouldn't have perished in my affliction. I will never forget thy precept. For with them thou hast cooked me. 
Well, tonight we shall be on a subject matter. Engaging the power of praise in hard times. I told you uh, we shall be looking into righteousness and praise simultaneously. These are the two subject matter that occupy the pages of Scripture much more than any subject matter. Righteousness and praise. Exodus chapter 15 verse 11. Who is like unto the whole Lord? Among the gods who is like thee. Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. They go together. Say, praise is coming for the upright. You can't be righteous and not have praise as a lifetime. <laughs> and you know the Bible says the garment of praise. You know, you can outgrow your garment through of us. Now this, this shirt you are wearing at 15 is not what you are wearing at 30. So also that means you should increase in your praise life. Many of us we are still wearing the same garment of 15 years at 30. That's why your praise life is too skimpy. It's tired because you are not increasing the garment of praise. When you increase in age, you should increase in your praise. That's why it's called a garment. You stay for one garment, five years. You are just, that's why some of us find it difficult to throw our legs because the garment we are wearing is too tight for you to move freely. Outgrow your garment of praise. <laughs> Praise is a garment. And we all, when we grow, we change our garment. So change the size of your praise garment. Some of you are still wearing one. See, tight. The button is tight. So you can't move around. Losing it and increase your garment of praise. My garment of praise is bogus. I'm wearing the kind of garment of praise of David that could pull like that. But when you're skipping, you can't move your leg. Can I hear you say to your partner, increase your garment of praise? It's too tight for you at this age. You need to be current. Engaging the power of praise in hard times. Say, in famine you shall laugh. Can you see that? And so, praise. So I've been laughing all this year. All these years. I've never stopped laughing. Season out of season, laughing. What makes you still? Praise. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Then shall the earth yield her increase. It doesn't matter the economy. In spite of the climate. No matter what the climate is, no matter what the troubles are, no matter what the challenges are, no matter what the difficulties are, there is always joy for the child of God because joy is supernaturally produced by the Holy Ghost, which is in you, fueled by the revelation of the world. <laughs> that word was found and I did it, that my word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. What is dominion? The ability to rejoice in any situation. <laughs> That's what will bring the attention of people. People are weeping and this is, is, is laughing. That's dominion. Megan. I learned to change the face of these looks. The Lord will change your face. <laughs> your look will change. I am. In draw, somebody is changing the face of this place. So that means it's not affected by the, the happiness here. What is the meaning? Ability to rejoice in any situation. Ability to rejoice in any situation. That means joy is the fountainhead for dominion. 
Joy is the fountain head for may you not lose your fountain head. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> you know this one is always you I can't stand here and not laugh. I have dominated economic scarcity in my life through joy. It's not money. Joy. Without joy, life becomes tiresome and tedious. Without joy, life becomes tiresome and tedious because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Without joy, life becomes tiresome. When you see a tired person, you know that he lacks money, he lacks joy. So joy is the fountainhead for dominion. And what is dominion? Ability to rejoice in any situation. And the source of joy is light. Call for light. <laughs> And what is left? The world. The source of joy. Thy words were found and I did it. Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 16. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing. So I'm dominating in any situation. There are two kinds of praises. Celebrant praises and praises. Ce I want you to be a celebrant praiser. Not just a praiser. Celebrant praiser. Be a celebrant praiser. Celebrating God in every situation. Any person can sing praises when things are going well. How is it when you are faced with everyday difficulties? How is it when you are misjudged, falsely accused? Ignored, betrayed, disappointed. How is it like? So when you still do that, that's what takes you to a new dimension of what we call re-praise. When you don't have reason to praise God, when you praise God, that's celebrant praise. When there is no reason to praise God and yet you praise him, that turns you into a celebrant what? That's celebrating God in every situation. When there is no reason to praise and you offer praise. That means you celebrate and praise. So I don't like singing that song again. That say, I have a reason to praise the Lord. No, I don't have a reason I praise him. It's the only when you have a reason. I, I have a religious people. I have a reason to. I don't have a reason yet. I'm an ardent praiser. Celebrate and praise us. When there is no reason. And yet you praise him. That's an offering. Psalm 50 verse 20, 23. Whoso offered praise until you make praise an offering that uh, it doesn't have to be with a reason. <laughs> Whoso offered praise. There are some people who glorify God by their praise. Glory. And that's the kind of people God is looking for. He's pleased. The glory God gets from those who praise him without reason. Pleases him much more than those who praise him they would slide us, say, Bully, till he would slide us. Now, listen to this the glory God gets from people who praise him without reasons. Please see him much. Not that others don't please him. Much. <laughs> What is the praise more? Nothing. Say, let me have that guy. <laughs> it's a celebrant praise. When I said today you came here, you are blessed. I know what I'm talking about. Sir, God saw how I was celebrating my Jalopika. Play with it. Say, me, write this camp. Where am I? You know how many people. Thousands that are walking down the road like this. I pass, I pass with my car. Am I better than them? That's a celebrant praiser. He attaches every awkward reason to thank God and praise God. You live 
live here now, you go to your roof. But someone doesn't have roof. Many. What then is praise? What then is praise? Sounds of celebration emanating from the heart to God for his act. Sounds of celebration emanating from the heart to God for his act. Sounds. You are not making sound in your heart. Sounds of celebration. Sounds of celebration emanating from the heart to God for his act. Sounds of celebration emanating from the heart to God for his act. Sounds of celebration emanating from the heart to God for his act. That's praise. Psalm 45 verse 1. My heart is in that in a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made touching it came. My tongue is the of the sounds of celebration emanating from the heart to God for his act. Last praise. What is the opposite of praise? Negative talk. The opposite of praise is negative talk. You can be talking negative talk and then it's praise session you are dancing. You are not praising God. Negative talk. My heart is in that in a good matter. That sounds of celebration emanating from the heart. To God for his act. Anytime you are involved in negative talk, that's the opposite of praise. You can't genuinely praise God and be involved in negative talks. Negative talk stifles praise. It kills it. I want you to leave you to mind your talk. Mind your talks. Anything coming out of your mouth that is negative. Stifles praise. You can be dancing, you know, but it stifles genuine praise. Things are hard. Praise the Lord. It stifles. <laughs> they don't go together. <laughs> they don't go together. <laughs> the other, the praise one is mechanical. The opposite of praise is negative talk. Murmuring, complaining. We praise God. There's something like that. It has neutralized. We praise God. Because the fountain of praise is fresh. Positive, sir. Even in your talks. You start praising God from your talks, positive talks. My heart is in that in a good matter. Yeah, that's real praise, sir. You can't be negative in your attitude, in your words, and then you think you are praising God. You could be doing the mechanical, but it's not spiritual. Why should you glorify God in praise? Number one. He made you. You have no reason not to glorify God in praise, even if you are not eating. Why? Because he made you. So that's a strong reason you know. He said, make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Sound the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. No, he died. It is he that has made us, not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So, you are mandated to praise God and give him glory because he made you. God made everything to glorify him. Even from the sound they make. That's why a lamb, a goat, bleach, glorify God. The roaring of a lion is glorifying God. Everything, the sound they make, you may not understand. Hence, 
lay of hands is making praise to God. Even the servant that he is, is bound to praise God. The sounds animals make is pointed that they are made to glorify God. The groaning of a tiger, the trumpeting of a lion, of a camel, an elephant. Everything God made is to glorify Him. Everything. The strength of a lion is to glorify His Maker. To point that, hey, this one that made this land is a strong person. So when you see a lamb um, exercising strength, he's glorifying God in his strength. <laughs> Everyone here is, uh, is unique in his giftings. That gifting that God has put in you that is different from this man's one is to glorify God. Don't seek to be like any person. You are not here by accident. What you are carrying, sir? He created one little thing called ant. And then he put his wisdom inside. So go to the ant and learn wisdom. It's to glorify God. So when you see the ant be in order, it's because there is a God of order. When you see a cheetah, the fastest animal, is to show that God put this man, this creature called cheetah, the ability to outrun every other animal is to glorify God. So when he overtakes everybody, he's glorifying God. So when you see people clap for you, it's for him. Stand to your feet. <laughs> Lazarus, there is a unique gift in that God has put on your inside. So when you begin to manifest and people are running around you. Look up. Don't look at yourself. He decided to make a creature called parrot to talk. Look, it's not only man. Let me show you. I can use even another kind to talk. So when you see a parrot talking, now let me tell you something. Why you are here? I keep saying it here. You are here for your eyes to be open to see what God has put on your inside. For his glorification. I won't finish this topic. We have not even touched the surface. It's for Sunday. The fullness of this world shall come to everyone here. And I'm admonishing everyone here. Your evangelism tool from now to Sunday is please come and see the reason why God has made you. Yes, that, just tell me, say, your suffering ends when you begin to reveal the glory of God in your life. Nothing else. <laughs> your suffering ends. Take that from me. In whatever form. When you begin to what? Reveal the glory of God in your life. So, when you see a lion, even in his majestic walk, exercise strength and overcome any opponent, eh? just say, Lord, this thing is glorifying you by virtue of what you have put inside of him. So don't allow any human being to intimidate you. You have what it takes to glorify God. Can I hear you say, I have what it takes to glorify my God. As he is glorified, I shall be also. Now listen to this. Hear what Jesus said. Glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify. You can't glorify God until he glorifies you. And he glorifies what he has put on your inside for you to reveal to your world. Yes, sir. Before the service, I should pass on an invitation. Left for me. It's not me that he should invite for that kind of assignment. By virtue of the title, even attached to it, or because God has put something here. Any 
anyone must acknowledge it. Sir, in this world, I acknowledge you. Amen. Wherever you have been ignored, watch it and see. You become the attention of your world. Amen. Ah, this is just a foretaste for Sunday. If you like, travel. Travel to Kaduna. <laughs> Can I say it's a new day for me? I'm about to be revealed to my world. As I reveal God's glory in my life. Sir, you will look around, you won't see shame in your life. Amen. You won't see reproach in your life. Amen. You say, remove reproach and content from me, for I have kept their testimonies. That's the word. That's the only thing to keep, sir. To remove anything. But the enemy has put in your life. This week shall be your best week ever. Amen. As you go to bed today, God will visit you Amen. in visions and revelations. Amen. You wake up with a supernatural start tomorrow morning. Amen. You'll be so refreshed by heaven. Amen. It's a new day. Amen. You are here tonight. You are not born again wherever you are. Put your hand on your chest and say this was after me. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I come to you today. Save me. I believe in my heart that you died for me. And on the third day you rose from the dead. Come into my life. I write my name in the book of life. I am born again. Congratulations. 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 Tonight you will sleep. Your sleep will be deep. Lord, as we partake of this mystery, remove every planting of the enemy in the lives of your people. Whatever you have not planted, Lord, is erased by this mystery. In Jesus' mighty name. The Egyptians you see, you shall see them again no more forever. Whatever evil has pursued you to this place, you shall see them again no more forever. All doors are open before you. Good things shall begin to spring in. Evil things out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. Congratulations. We'll continue in this teaching on Sunday. And you are mandated not to come alone. Invite as many as you can. So their eyes can be open to this. Miss for. Shall we share the goodness?